Hi everyone. So this week we are going to do a drawing and if you watched the video before this, you learned what we were going to be drawing about. We're going to draw a chameleon. So today we will do the drawing. We will outline it with black and then next week we will do the coloring. So what you need today is a piece of paper. You're going to need a pencil. You're going to need a black marker or black color pencil or black color crayon, something that is black and we're gonna go ahead and get started drawing. You want your paper going the long way, and just like we have been doing in Zoom, we're gonna fold it in half both directions. So I'm gonna start by folding it in half side to side, like a book or a card, and then I'm going to open it up, and then I'm going to fold it in half top to bottom. And this is gonna help us make our chameleon a good size so that when we go to color it next week, we've got a good size. So we're gonna start here at the center. So I want you to put a dot at the center. We are going to draw his head over in this area. His body is gonna be right here. We'll get his curly tail right here and we'll get a little bit of a background. So to start off with his head, I want you to follow down your middle line, come straight down to your dot. Then I want you to go from your dot out and to the right. And we're going to draw a curve to connect those. And this is going to be our chameleon's head. Next, we're going to draw the body. So body has to be connected to our head. So we're going to follow that same middle fold. I'm going to come out just a little further. And our body is going to start not up here, but down a little bit. We're going to start it down and then we're going to curve it out to the end. Nope, I didn't quite get my line long enough, so I'm going to fix that. There is my head and my body. The next thing I'm going to draw is going to be the tail. Now, a chameleon's tail always curls underneath. It never curls out. It always curls down underneath, and it curls into a spiral. So I'm going to start with the top part. I'm going to come out, and I'm going to make a nice big spiral. Because if I do a skinny spiral, I'm not going to have enough room to do my drawing of the other one. And I'm not going to have enough room to color like I need to. So now I'm going to draw the second one and it's going to spiral in. And there's my tail. Now, if you need to follow with your finger, make sure that you connected it all the way at the end. That way you know you've got your tail done. Next, we're going to come to his head and we're going to draw his eyeball and his grumpy mouth. So his eyeball is just going to be two circles. Oh, uh, that's not a circle. Let's fix that. There's a little bit more of a circle. And then a smaller circle. Mine's going to be facing forward. Now, remember, chameleons have a grumpy mouth. So we're going to draw that frowny mouth because chameleons aren't happy. Last, we're going to draw those feet. And we're only going to draw two feet because we're going to draw the feet that are closest to us. So we're going to draw them just as little U-shapes. So a U-shape coming to the front. I think I'm going to move it up just a little bit. Let's move it up a little bit more under his head. So I think I'm going to start it close at the bottom of his, or at the edge of his body, but I'm going to bring it up a little bit more under his head. There we go. Now I'm going to do his second one closer to his tail. Okay, so there's my chameleon. Now what's he on? We got to get the branch in there. So chameleons, remember they had the pincher feet. We're not going to draw the pincher feet, but we're going to draw our branch. So my branch needs to go just above the feet and both on both feet. And then I'll draw the bottom of the branch down just a little bit. Now notice I stopped when I got to my feet so I didn't draw my line through my feet and I'm going to do the same right here with my tail. I don't want lines through my feet and my tail. That's not very fun. I need to fix my back line. Hang on. Got a little bit out of sorts. There we go. That looks a little better. 
Okay, next we're going to draw a couple leaves. We'll keep them simple. So we're going to draw a pointy oval. There's one leaf. I'm going to give it a wiggly line through the center. I'm going to draw one over here. It's going to be about the same. It's going to run off my paper, and is that okay? Yes, totally okay to run it off your paper. If you run out of room, totally okay. I am actually going to add a leaf right over here that is off my paper. It's coming in off the edge. Gives a little bit more dimension to our guy here. And last thing we're going to draw, we're going to draw sun, just because it's fun. So I'm going to draw a circle. And I'm going to draw my sun like this. You can draw your sun however you would like. It's your choice. I'll give you a little bit of freedom. That doesn't look good. Hang on. Gotta fix. When it doesn't look right, Mrs. Bodden has to fix it. So, need to do some erasing. There we go. That looks a little better. So there's my son. I am not going to draw a smiley face on here. Do not draw a smiley face on your son. We're not drawing smiley faces on our sons. Okay, the next thing you're going to do, you're going to take your marker. And you're going to be smart. And you're going to stick something underneath your paper. Stick another piece of paper underneath it. So that your marker doesn't bleed through on your table. Because that will make your mom mad at you. Believe me, I know. I did that several times as a kid. So the next thing I'm going to do. I'm going to trace with my black marker. Now, we are going to color these probably with color crayons or colored pencils, whichever one you have. So, if you do not have a black marker, like a black Sharpie, you could use a black Crayola marker. You can use a fatter marks -a -lot marker, like one of these. You could use a color crayon. You could use a colored pencil. The main thing we want to do is we want to very carefully trace over our pencil marks. Make sure you get this brown in there. Now, I'm not doing very good. I'm gonna have to come back and erase. That's normal. I somehow do not always trace my lines very well. So. That's what erasers are for. I always get to come back and use my eraser. My black pen is not working as well as it should be. I think I'm going to have to get a new one here soon. So you're going to trace all of your chameleon. Go nice and slow. Make it nice and neat. Make sure you get all of your chameleon and that you don't forget something. When you get over here to the edge of your paper, move your paper so that when you get to the edge, aha, you can make the extra mark on your paper and not the table. Because again, I don't want your mom mad at you or your dad. Trace your sun. Gonna trace my tree next, my branch next. Remember, pick your marker up when you draw in between his tail. Pick your marker up when you draw in between his legs. Move your paper so that when you get to the end, you don't draw on your table again. I think my son's been using this marker. I think that's why it's dying so much. Why it likes to do art too. And he likes to outline with black, but sometimes he doesn't remember that he should color with pencil or crayons. 
or markers and not color with mom's black sharpie he likes to color with mom's black sharpie okay so i'm gonna put my marker away now i'm gonna take my eraser and i'm going to erase my pencil marks that i know i can see so this will take just a few seconds but it's a step that will make your project look way better when it comes time to color so just go around your paper, look, see where you may have gotten not quite on your line, and just erase away your pencil marks. You will be much happier with your project in the end. Okay, last thing to erase is my son. Now notice I am not going back and forth. I am just going in one direction. That's because if I go back and forth, I will create folds in my paper and ruin my drawing, and I don't want that. So, with that, here is my chameleon. We are going to save our chameleon coloring for next week. So go ahead and, oh, I need to erase some more. Go ahead and stick this in a safe spot after you've taken a picture of it. So you're going to take a picture of it. You're going to stick it in Teams in our, your assignment just like we normally do. And then you're going to stick it in a safe spot till next week when I'm going to show you what we're going to do with it. So I will see you next week. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye, guys.